Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading for October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. And the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. Alright, Sagittarius, what is going on for you? First half of October, we have differences. Alright. So, um, it could be that you are beginning to notice some differences that you are having with um, a particular person. Maybe there are some things that you are not agreeing on or just coming to this realization that maybe things just weren't or just aren't as you had expected or that there are more um, opposing views than you had initially thought or just kind of seeing things that you feel like um, almost like you know how can you make this work if you have so many differences let's see or maybe there are just some differences um, in it could even be in cultural issues in status in anything that might be serving as an obstacle at the moment or as a barrier for this connection. So let's see, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of October, and I am doing a bit of a different spread this time around. So, um, recent past, we have the Seven of Pentacles for your energy, Ten of Wands, as well as the Ten of Pentacles for them, the Three of Swords, the Ace of Wands. Coming up in your energy here, we have the World. For them, we have Judgment. Ooh, okay, and a potential outcome here is the Two of Wands. All right. Why do I kind of get the sense that all fire signs have like a similar theme going on? Um, for October. So, Sagittarius. This is a situation where I feel like things were, again, it very similar to Leo in the past energy things, or was it Aries? I can't remember. But feeling like, you know, things were being put into place, things were being organized, a little bit of waiting for things to fully um, be resolved in order to just, you know, fully come together or, you know, for something here to happen, for a particular result. Um, not sure if that happened because, well, you have the Ten of Wands um, and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you just, um, you wanted this commitment. I feel like you still want this commitment, okay, with a particular person, but this, whatever this waiting was, I feel like that has exhausted you um, and you just kind of want to lay this down to rest. Like you're just kind of, um, tired basically of of either waiting or of just whatever the challenges are i feel like it's just too much for you to carry at the moment and it's like you just don't have the energy um to continue in this direction which would be why it's leading to this world like um wanting to close out a chapter here again i'm not convinced that you have um that this is you fully letting it go it could be um but with that ten of pentacles here i feel like you know there is that part of you that still wants commitment at least for now um for your person this this, this person is um feeling hurt they're in they're in a lot of pain here um We'll see when we clarify. They also have the Ace of Wands. I feel like they. I feel like there's already like some kind of a conflict here, or some kind of an energy that's building up, maybe to an ending. Um, and so this person does want things to come back. They still have this passion for you. They still want this. So we'll see. We'll see. There's a major revelation though coming up for them like a wake-up call is the way that it's coming in. And for the potential outcome with this Two of Wands, I, I feel like, again, you know, it's kind of like things are at a crossroads. Um, a little bit of waiting here. Somebody can take control over the situation. I feel like there is some kind of a resolution here that is possible. It's just a matter of somebody actually acting on it. So let's clarify. Alright, 
Sagittarius. Let's clarify the Oracle card for differences. The Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. All right, so these are differences that you're not very fond of. Um, I feel like you're beginning, like I said, to see these differences in a way where it's making you feel like the way that each of you views things differently is actually a huge, huge challenge here. Like you just don't agree with the way that this person is either viewing something, handling something, communicating, whatever, whatever that is. Um, and so it's almost like it's like a little bit of this battle between the two of you. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's arguing and fighting. I just feel like each of you is kind of set in your own ways at the moment. And even if somebody does see things in a different way, it's like they're not really acting on the way that they are feeling or just not acting on, on what they believe, almost like a deception of their own self. And this is what is leading to this Ten of Wands, right? Building up from that Nine of Wands. I feel like you're at this point of giving up and just feeling like, you know what, I got, you know, we, we just can't have this Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah, let me clarify the Ten of Wands. Pentacles and the King of Cups. You've been giving to this um, connection, I feel, more than what this person has been giving, all right? With that Six of Pentacles, you're feeling like, you know, especially when it comes to emotions, um, not, that the, not that the other person doesn't have emotions for you. Um, obviously, if they didn't have emotions, they wouldn't be um, feeling this pain. But I feel like you have been giving a lot more. You have, actually what this is about is you, I feel, put in a lot of effort when it came to really trying to be the bigger person and really trying to keep your own emotions in check. Like you would, um, for example, you know, overlook certain things. Trying to keep your emotional balance for the sake of the relationship, for the sake of the other person being very patient and just not allowing yourself to to get angry, not allowing yourself to get um, resentful or not even resentful, but just not allowing yourself to lose control of your emotions just so that you can give them the time and space to like fully resolve this. And I feel like that wasn't really met um, by the other person. Like the other person just didn't really um, It's almost like they took it for granted, and because of that, it didn't yield any any results, basically. Like, you were just always patient, you were always there, you were always loving. You know, it's like they, almost like they could get away with just about anything. Or even if, you know, you would hold them accountable for, you know, certain things that they did, you know, you would get over it and forgive them very quickly. And so, you know, this person just kind of kept doing whatever it was that they were doing and not really meeting you halfway here. So let's see the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. So yeah, you, you, you wanted this commitment, you were working hard for this and it's just, I feel like it's getting to the point where it's like, you know, well, if I'm not getting met halfway and if this isn't bringing any results, like why am I even doing this? And I feel like those are the differences that you are beginning to see here, the differences between, you know, how much you're giving and then, you know, how much is the other person giving? So let's see for them. Let's see this three of swords. The Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. I feel like this person is be, um, realizing how nurturing you were. And the reason why they're beginning to realize that is because actually, you know, you're kind of taking that, 
taking that away, like you're pulling that away. You're moving towards this world, right, towards that completion. So again, very similar to Leo and Aries. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with another fire sign or if you have strong Leo Aries in your chart. All right, it would be interesting for me to know that. It doesn't have to be, of course, all right? It could be any sign that you are dealing with. I'm just calling out, you know, what, what comes to me. So it's almost like this person is even feeling some... Um, I'm getting even regret, all right, with this Three of Swords. Like, it's kind of, it's hurting them because they do feel for you. So it's hurting them to know that, you know, you were so nurturing. And now that it's not there as much, they're feeling the absence of that. And that is what is hurting them because they know that they hurt you. And it's almost like with this Six of Wands, almost like, you know, they, they had to, again, it's coming in as having taken this for granted. Like, they were just always, like, in the... Um, how should I say this? Kind of like they had the upper hand. Kind of like, you know, it was they were always in the win position because they could just kind of get away with things, you know, or with not taking action or with, you know, not putting in effort or, you know, going back on their word or, you know, not taking a stance or whatever, whatever the, the um, situation was. For some of you, this could definitely be a third party as well. That is, um, that is in this person's life, okay, which would also be creating a lot of pain for them. Let's see this Ace of Wands. The Queen of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, see, so this person is having clarity, right? Um, having clarity on what it is that they want. And that's, and I feel like that is building. Like for you, the momentum is leading you towards this ending of a chapter or like some kind of a resolution or a completion of whatever it was that you were um, doing, all right, which I already said what it was. Um, and for them, the momentum is building in order for them to reach this revelation. Okay, so there's this clarity when it comes to the love that they feel for you. And I feel like this is something that they were taken for granted. And they're seeing it now because, because you are becoming like this queen of swords, pulling that energy away, being a little bit more cutting, not being as warm, not being as nurturing, not being as forgiving, not being as loving. And when I say forgiving, I mean, I mean, you know, just not, not being a doormat, basically, not just allowing them to be however and you just always being the strong one. And keeping your emotions in check so so as to not upset them. No, it's like you're you're done with that. So this is what is actually creating them. It's like this longing, this ace of wands to have you back. But knowing that what they were doing was wrong, that they were hurting you. So they want you back in that way, but they also don't want to hurt you, is what I'm getting here, right? There's a lot of love here. Um, it's just that. <clears throat> and I'm not excusing them at all, all right? Um, but this person was just taking it for granted. Let's see the world, which is coming up for you. The Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. All right, Saji. Um... Yeah, you know, it's hurting you. It's like you're doing this with a very heavy heart. Um, you don't want there to be an ending, but it's almost like you feel like there needs to be some kind of an ending to this, to what it is that you are doing at least. Like, uh, it has to stop. And it hurts you because you, I feel like you give to this person. You know, you love giving to this person because that's the type of person that you are. But you're realizing that, you know, you just can't continue on in this way if you're not also receiving what it is that you need as well and if this person is not giving to you um, fairly and so yeah you know it might lead a little bit to you feeling like this is a loss um, but I feel like overall you know this is something that is needed for you for your own sake for your own integrity um, but, and also, it's helping this person to have this major wake-up call. So let's see judgment. And you're not doing it for them to have this wake-up call. Right? 
Don't be doing this as a means to an end because that's not going to work. You are doing this for your own sense of self-integrity. And if you do it in that way, all right, it will be successful, even if there is a little bit of, um, you know, negative emotions or some pain attached to that. Because obviously this is somebody that you have a lot of feelings for, that you have invested um, a lot in a lot of time a lot of energy and so yeah having to pull back what you give it's not always the most pleasant of um of emotions all right so for judgment we have the queen of cups the devil and the emperor yeah this is their wake-up call their wake-up call is realizing all right um this love that you were giving to them, how they were taking that for granted, pretty much, all right? The devil, the negative um, attachment to that that they had. So it's almost like they were able to be doing whatever it is that they wanted. They were like this emperor, right? Six of Wands as well. Um, because you were so giving. You were so loving. And they realized that this was actually toxic. This was leading to this connection being toxic. It was actually a form of deceit. And there's actually a huge difference here between how you were behaving, how they were behaving, your attitude, their attitude, the way you see things, the way you do things. Um, just too many, it was just too different. Like the, the, the gap was too big. And this was unhealthy, this was toxic. Obviously for some of you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. All right, showing up here. Um, I'm also getting Aries as well. So a major wake-up call for this person to seeing how it was that they were just taking advantage of your of your kindness, basically. All right, so let's see the two of wands for the potential outcome. Ooh, and we have the two of wands again and the ten of pentacles. So there it is. I mean, there is this possibility for this connection to actually come back together. I feel like that is actually going to be um, up to you because I do see that this person wants this. All right, um, I do see them having a major transformation here. I do see them having this major wake up call, but obviously it's going to be to your discernment, right? With what choice you want to make when it comes to this 10 of pentacles, which is something that you do um, want or you did, you did want pretty strongly here. Um, but yeah, I feel like that potential is definitely there. It's just that it's going to have to be your choice. All right, which, which box do you choose? It's like the key is in your own hand. All right, Sagittarius, so if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And let's see, Sagi, last message. All right, and we have the waxing croissant moon. Have faith in your dreams. So yeah, I have nothing to say about that. Have faith in your dreams, but don't let people walk all over you, basically. All right, Sagittarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.